So welcome. I'm Pastor Bob Novak. We're in day three of 21 days of prayer. It is a spiritual journey for us, and uh, I'm glad you've joined us. So I don't know how many of you went and cleaned out your garage. That wasn't the point of uh, yesterday's devotion. But the bottom line is uh, repentance uh, continues to move us from kind of decluttering the stuff that has taken over so we can't really respond and do what God calls us to do. So there's a verse in James that's our key verse for the day. And here's what it says. It says, remember it is sin to know what you ought to do and then not do it. Now, some of you are like over-the-top, obsessive, compulsive, and you read this verse, and you just go into a panic. Did I forget to do something? That's not what James is getting at. What he's getting at is this. He was really big on, hey, do you have faith in your life? Are you really following Jesus? Then you need to go ahead and show me. You need to put it into practice. You need to prove it, because if it's just this inner intent inside of your life, and it doesn't work its way out into your life, there's no works that take place as a result, then um, I don't think it's really real. So let's prove this thing. What he's getting at is what sometimes is called a sin of omission, it's a failure to do the right thing, the good thing, the thing that God would prompt us to do. A lot of people think that if you go ahead and just avoid and stay away from the things that will send you to hell, the really bad stuff, um, then it's okay after that and spend your life how you want to spend it. But what God does is He is calling us, repentance calls us to move from our kingdom to His kingdom kingdom. It is a turnabout. There's a new king that's over our life. It's a brand new kingdom. And he comes to us. In fact, he's always, he's just right at our doorstep. And he wants you to come out of the destructive habits of sin, but also he wants you to enter in to the life that's surrendered toward the ways that he has for you. So to not do what is good and right, the live like this principles that you'll read about in the scriptures um, that you find in God's word and also the promptings of the Holy Spirit to not in to put into practice these good things that God has for you is sin according to James. So it's failure to do the good thing. Now we need to chew on that for a little bit uh, when we finish the devotional. Take some time to think about that. Our wrongs are easier to identify but imagine uh, how big the, the sin of our negligence might really be. What have we knowingly failed to do? What word went unsaid? What help could have been offered, but we failed to offer it? Or what person was ignored? What ministry was neglected? Now, for this all-in forward vision initiative, it's vital that we move from just the intent of our hearts really toward action. So we want to surrender our passivity and negligence before God. Um, the big problem is uh, it's not just the issue of pride, it's the issue of selfishness. And when I get in the way and I want to program my life and I want to protect my life and I want to move my life to my control when it becomes about me, it's easy for me to omit the very things that God has designed me for to serve, and uh, to make a difference in my world. So why don't you go ahead and join me? There's a closing prayer that we're going to move to. And uh, so right, just go ahead, right where you're at, read it along with me. Oh, good and perfect Father, I come to you overwhelmed by the sin of my negligence. Help me to obey your voice when it urges me to do good throughout my day. And take away any selfishness or, or stinginess that keeps me from doing the good you want me to do. I ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. Hey, keep praying simple prayers like this. They make all the difference in the world because what it does is it invites God in for Him to have His way in your life. So we trust you have an awesome day, and I hope you'll join us again tomorrow for uh, one more day of uh, devotions in the 21 days of prayer. God bless.